Hey everyone, so many of you have heard that French President Emmanuel Macron has said that he wants to make an arms embargo against Israel. And uh, it, sometimes it seems that in Europe, in the West as a whole, in America, uh, that, that we live in a very rational, simple world that is completely uh, different than the situation that Israel faces in the Middle East. Check out this clip from uh, Prime Minister Bibi Netanyahu addressing President Macron directly. Check out his, his frustration in the whole situation. I have a message. I have a message for President Macron. Today, Israel is defending itself on seven fronts against the enemies of civilization. We're fighting in Gaza against Hamas, those savages who murdered, raped, beheaded, and burned our people on October 7th. We're fighting in Lebanon against Hezbollah, the most heavily armed terror organization in the world, which was planning an even greater massacre than October 7th on our northern border, and that has rocketed Israeli towns and cities for nearly a year. We're fighting against the Houthis in Yemen and the Shiite militias in Iraq and Syria, that together have launched hundreds of drones and missile attacks against Israel. We're fighting against terrorists in Judea and Samaria who are trying to murder civilians in the heart of our cities. And we're fighting against Iran, which last week fired over 200 ballistic missiles directly at Israel and which stands behind the seven-front war against Israel. As Israel fights the forces of barbarism led by Iran, all civilized countries should be standing firmly by Israel's side. Yet President Macron and some other Western leaders are now calling for an arms embargo against Israel. Shame on them. Is Iran imposing an arms embargo on Hezbollah, on the Houthis, on Hamas, and on its other proxies? Of course not. The axis of terror stands together. But countries who supposedly oppose this terror axis call for an arms embargo on Israel. What a disgrace. Well, let me tell you this. Israel will win with or without their support, but their shame will continue long after the war is won. For in defending ourselves against this barbarism, Israel is defending civilizations against those who seek to impose a dark age of fanaticism on all of us. Rest assured, Israel will fight until the battle is won, for our sake and for the sake of the peace and security of the entire world. Yeah, as it turns out, terrorists want to kill innocent people. And this is not a particularly or specifically Jewish problem. This is a problem that affects the entire West. Because as soon as they have their way or get their way with the Jewish people or, or, or those that are in the land of Israel, they're going to continue. They're going after the West as a whole. This is a battle of ideologies. It's not about land. It's not about two-state solutions. This is, an ideo this is an ideology that wants to conquer over, defeat, and destroy Western civilization. And that is an ideology that needs to be fought against. Obviously, the war is not against Islam. The war is not against Muslims. The, world, the, the war is not against anything but this terrorist ideology, this ideology of fanaticism. And fanaticism needs to be eradicated.